Today we're going to watch another reaction video of the freediving world records. Uh, today is going to be constant weight with monofin. And today again, same as the last time, we're going to watch uh, actually not one, but two world records. Uh, it is a one world record made by Alexey Molchanov in a constant weight monofin. And another world record made by Alinka Artnik uh, in the same discipline, uh, constant weight with monofin. Both of these records was made last year I think in July, uh, so 2021 July, during the competition, uh, vertical blue competition in Bahamas. We're going to start with the Alexi dives first, uh, because it was day number four of this competition. Uh, interestingly enough, this day number four was really uh, fruitful for the world records. Uh, so first it was uh, the world record by Alexi Molchanov, uh, 131 meters. Then Alinka uh, did the world record dive as well to 120 meters. She actually broke it later in a few days. And then it was a uh, uh, Bifins record with Arnau Gerald. And then the last was uh, Alessia Zuccini. Uh, she made the world record in a free immersion discipline. So it was really exciting day. So as I said, we're going to start uh, by watching Alexi dive uh, to 131 meters. And then it's going to be a Linka dive, uh, but not to 120 meters, as I said. Uh, she first established this record and then a few days later she beat this record by diving to 122 meters. All right, Alexei preparing for his dive as always in a vertical position. Unlike many other divers who prefer to do uh, their preparation uh, lying on the back, Alexei I think almost always or maybe always choosing this vertical position. Again, according to him, uh, this is just give him consistency of preparation, always the same. So as previous dives, Alexi uh, doesn't use the fluid goggles, just a nose clip. Um, I think this is the end of his breath up. He's holding the rope, there is a torch. Um, so yeah, I think this is the end of preparation. Yes, he start his packing. Uh, again, remember the packing is an advanced uh, breath up technique which allows a free diver, elite free divers to bring more air into their lungs. This is done both for equalization and just more air in the lungs. Okay, he started the dive and what he, we see about his technique that he prefer to keep his arms um, in a streamlined position. So this is how a lot of free divers do, however, not all free divers. So he kicked pretty aggressively because again, at this point, he is a positive buoyant. So he need to overcome this positive buoyancy. And then even now, like you see the depth is uh, 25 meters and the amplitude of his kick is slowly decreasing. He did uh, a little arm stroke, now keeping his arms along the body. Uh, yeah. And now there is a technically possibility of free fall. Uh, because I think he is a, a negative point at this point, at 40 meters. Uh, but still he is going to do this dolphin style movement for a while. I don't, I, ha I, I watched this video before, but I don't remember for how deep he's going to make this uh, dolphin movement. So both of this, it's still a free fall, right? We still consider this as a free falling because most of the, um, like there is not that much effort. So basically he falling down because of the negative buoyancy. However, I think to keeping uh, like this good streamline position and also to speed up a little bit his dive uh, to 131 meters, uh, Alexi doing this movement. Okay, looks like now it's just a free falling. And guys, by the way, I haven't mentioned it on my previous reaction video. As you can see the, uh, the sign here, dive eye. This is a technology which allows us to watch this video. This is an underwater drone which follows the diver. Okay, Alexi is almost 90 meter deep. It's actually 90 meter deep. Uh, still doing this movement, so 100 meter deep, uh, but still it's just not simple free fall. Um, the free fall take a lot of, uh, um, like it's, it's give you huge benefit. But again, I think it is a, to keep the, him uh, more streamlined and also maybe to speed up a little bit the dive. Alexi keep doing this uh, dolphin move, movement. Okay, 120. 
yeah, now it just free fall. Oh, and I think he missed the stopper. So quite often free divers stopping, like you see the stopper, uh, the line yard stop here. So quite often free divers grabbing the rope somewhere here, and then they have a chance to just grab the tech with another arm. But now I think Alexi just fall a little bit deeper. And um, yeah, he's, he's probably deeper than 131 meters now. And now he's, okay, this part is 131, but his leg 132 meters. Okay, he start his ascents. Again, pretty aggressive movement. Absolutely makes sense. He is extremely deep. So strong movement from his core. Uh, really good dolphin movement. Alexi is specialized in a monofin. Uh, this is a where he is absolute king. There's, I think, no one near him uh, in this discipline. Let's say in a bifins, uh, there's a uh, there's a people who doing almost the same depths as uh, he do. But with a monofin, uh, he's definitely the king. So he has a really great, powerful technique. Uh, at this moment, the technique looks great. It is 80 meter deep, so already 50 meters of ascent. Strong movement. Of course, he using his own uh, monofin created um, by his team. Okay, now you can see the technique getting a little bit uh, different. You can see that the kicks now slightly different. He also start gliding a little bit, I guess. But again, now he is a 40 meter only deep. Okay, safety diver meeting him a little bit deeper. So quite often in this competition, we saw that um, that safety divers meeting around 30 meters. But uh, here you can see the safety diver meet at 40, at even 43. Uh, whether it is because it's too deep, uh, I don't know. Another safety divers at 30 meters. Yeah, Alex is still still good technique. Not not the uh, there's no surprises uh, compared to the last reaction video when Alexi was doing uh, constant weight by fins where there was something strange with his technique. Uh, now he's just showing his regular technique, slightly different uh, from the beginning uh, to the surface. Okay, keep going, 10 meters left. He's gonna do the arm stroke, a few more moves. Start exhaling before reaching the surface. This is what deep free divers do. They start exhaling before they reach the surface to avoid uh, lung overexpansion and possibility of surface blackout. Okay, Alexi grabbed the rope. Let's see how hypoxic he is. We couldn't see it because his massive arm. Okay, he's already show okay sign. And he is showing the cards. All right, so this is a new world record. Uh, now that we're waiting when the judge is going to confirm. Yeah, white card. So the new world record, 131 meters with a discipline constant weight uh, with a monofin. All right, now let's have a look at another dive. Uh, the dive made by a female freediver, uh, Alinka Artnik. It was, first of all, on the same day, as I said, she made the dive to 120 meters. But then on a day number seven, she's going to do the dive to 122 meters. All right, here we go. Alinka Artnik, um, female freediver from Slovenia. Um, preparing to do her dive. Remember what I said uh, when Alexi was doing his preparation? He was in a vertical position and Alinka is in a more traditional uh, position for relaxation breathing. So she is lying on her back. Anatomically, this is a more relaxed position. Um, so most of the free divers choose this position. Uh, the free divers use this kind of um, pillow to support the head and then the legs just floating. 
So same as Alexi, Alenka, Alinka, sorry for sometimes I'm going to mispronounce the name because the Russian version of your name is Alenka, <laughs> but uh, actually she is Alinka. Um, so same as Alexi, she doesn't have uh, the goggles, just a nose clip. Uh, this is how most of the freedivers dive. Uh, the monofin, I don't know what is the brand of this monofin. Alexi was obviously using his uh, own brand. A couple words, guys, about the setup. Uh, so this is a um, this is a counterbalance system. Uh, there is a couple of sponsors here, as you can see. It's Orca, Sounta, uh, Dive Eye. I think the sponsors of this competition also um, the free diving brand Double K. I think. Uh, let's see. I I, I saw. They have a uh, sign somewhere here. Okay, Alinka, remove this bag and start your dive. Actually, I haven't seen how long she was packing. Uh, probably she was packing not that big. All right, so first we see the big difference of the technique. Remember how Alexis started his dive. His arms was uh, in a streamlined position, so uh, along his head. And Alinka choosing... Um, not that common position for constant weight with a monofin, arms along the body. So not many freedivers are uh, using this position for constant monofin. So this position is a less streamlined, however, more relaxed. So this is why, as you can see, guys, even on a, a high level, even on an elite level, uh, there is a difference in the technique. So the freedivers, the athletes, choosing the technique which works better for them. So again, a linked technique is like as good as Alexi. Honestly, maybe even slightly better. However, again, it all depends on the physical characteristics. So a linker doing a little bit less amplitude looks like, um, like less aggressive, you can say. And now she's uh, near 30 meters. Let's see at what depths she's gonna start free falling. Actually, she started free falling already. Uh, at 30 meters, small free falls, but still keep moving. Yeah, Linka technique is just great. Great, great technique. Ah, it's probably, oh no, I don't know what is the Monofin uh, brand. Actually, I, I saw it before and I'll forget. Okay, 60 meter depths and she still uh, do this dolphin movement, so uh, free falling combined with a movement. So a few movements, free fall. A uh, few movements, free fall. Again, guys, this is a slightly different from what you probably learn on a, your free diving course, where you was uh, told that after you start free fall, you just can reach the depths without doing anything. So on the lead level, they do slightly different. So this, uh, as you can see, Alonka slightly on the side of the rope, it's maybe a mistake or maybe not. So maybe this is how she prefer control the distance to the rope. As you can see, uh, her arm kind of like around the rope. So it probably uh, this is her choice to be on the side of the rope. In this case, uh, I guess she can control the distance to the rope, uh, stuff like that. Really nice free falling position. Same as Alexi, <laughs> again, maybe better. I don't know. Guys, let me know in the comments. What do you think? Which technique you prefer, Alinka or Alexi? I, I like Alinka technique, but Alexi, hopefully not watching this video. Okay, uh, boom, stop. So as you see with Alinka, uh, she just grabbed the stopper uh, with one arm and tech with another arm. I haven't seen where she put the tech, so she is still keeping this arm position. She's still keeping the arm position along the body. Oh no, now she bring it uh, in a more streamlined position. Uh, keep kicking. Uh, again, the amplitude is, looks smaller than Alexis, uh, but like frequency is higher. I don't know like how you can compare the monofin who have a softer monofin, um, Alexi or Alinka. Uh, but yeah, a link, uh, so nice technique. Jealous to watch, jealous to watch. Uh, you see the upper body is almost not moving, it's just a movement of the lower part of the body. Which, this is like how the great technique supposed to look like. 
All right, she is a 50 meters. Technique looks absolutely the same, no changes. Uh, great form, great form. Um, 40 meters, first safety diver, around 40 meters. Okay, uh, checking the dive time. 30 meters, safety diver, second safety diver. Okay, Linka coming close to the surface. 20 meters. Okay, now the movement becoming less because she is more positive buoyant. And now I think she also going to do the. Oh no, she's doing differently. She already like her arm near the rope, ready to grab it as soon as she reaches the surface. Boom! She grab it, remove the nose clip, and she looks. She looks so fresh. She looks strong, she looks str strong and fresh. Um, a few words about this athlete in particular. So, like, as you know, like in many sports, the male athletes doing uh, better than female athletes, like if you just look at the numbers. And looks like Alinka is gonna change this in free diving because he is progressing so fast and she, her, her dives look so strong and fresh like, think about this. She broke the world record in this discipline uh, a few days ago. She reached 120 meters. And now she's reaching 122 meters and still looks fresh. Still looks like she has a gas in her tank. Wow. Just simply wow. I mean, hard to describe how good she is. And if you haven't seen my previous video about free diving world record in a constant weight bifins discipline, check out uh, the video here. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, click here.